Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones Edition. Um, slightly momentous news, uh, well one, uh, as you're seeing the resolution on this is slightly different, that's because it's on a different monitor, and most significantly this is a newer version of Crusader Kings 2. I was basically forced to update and was terrified for quite some time that I would ba it would basically be incompatible with the mod. Um, or my save file would be incompatible with the updated version of the mod. But, as it turns out, <laughs> the entire series isn't ruined, um, which is a cause for celebration, I feel. So, um, I'm not really sure what's new to this this whole this whole update, but I'm sure we'll uh, we'll work it out as we go along. And the uh, the good news is that I. I I can I can keep it in this version for as long as I like. It's stuck in a like a this is like a beta version. It's like backdating the version of it on Steam, and it won't update unless I make it. So hopefully this will be the version of the game that that, that we have until the end of the series, whenever that may be. Um, curiously, the uh, the Iron Throne seems to be orange. There, the territory seems to be orange. It's strange. Curiously, Dragon Slayer and Torturer seem to have been attributed to Casper Baratheon. Uh, I mean, Torturer I can believe. Dragon Slayer is a bit more of a stretch. I'm guessing that that's a new attribute because I've not seen it before, and nor have I heard of there being any dragons at all. So, interesting. Oh wow! Hell of a lot of different people fight, fighting it out in my territory. Look at all those banners, just fighting amongst themselves. It's slightly annoying actually because that's going to weaken me overall, isn't it? You'd have thought so. Oh, I didn't realise that um, that our, our regent was in fact our mum. But there you go. Oh, this is new. All those levies in the Vale have been raised. And I'm assuming that some, most, if not all of them, are local. Uh, but they all start with zero morale. They have to build it up from the from the start. All of them do. Interesting to know. <laughs> I like that. There's a child called Ronda Dondarian. That's a that's a funny name. Ronda 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 Dondarian. Wow, she is, she is married to 57-year-old Hugh Storm. That's, that's mighty unfortunate. I feel as though we could do with the better Master at Arms, maybe. Given that our overall martial score isn't that impressive. I have to deal with that maybe at a later point. Right now, I'm quite happy with the fact that all my councillors like me. Uh, yeah, our, our troop count has fallen slightly, down to 62,000. 4,000 local troops. That's slightly less than we had before, but that's still a lot of troops. So what we're basically waiting for now is... Uh... Oh, I sneaked through the dungeon, hearing the prisoners pleading for their life and the course laughter from the guards. Life lay forgotten on the floor and I brought it with me only to realise in the daylight why it felt so sticky. Oh, and our mother sees us with a bloody knife. I'm sure that will... Oh, brave. Okay. That ended a lot better than I suppose it might have done. So, yeah. Horus is brave. Good. A surprising number of people seem to have the celibate trait as well. I'm starting to wonder if certain traits that uh, uh, have been uh, sort of randomly assigned to people um, as a result of the update, I expect, well, I'm pretty sure that's the case with the Dragon Slayer attribute, at least. Um, the others I'm not so sure, but... Oh my goodness, I'm getting a shitload of messages. There must be a better way of doing this and sort of thing, and holy shit, why is... So yeah, there's uh, some kind of civil strife over who controls the uh, the reach. Um, I 
Ah, I see. House Meadows wants back in to the old uh, legacy. Oh my goodness. They have a claim on four of the seven kingdoms. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Well done. So I can't help but notice that a massive chunk of my territory has been taken by the Vale somehow. Presumably they, they put a different person in charge who was one of their vassals. Um, which I'm going to say I'm slightly annoyed about. Um, that is a huge chunk of territory that I'm not especially comfortable with losing, but we'll look into that when we can. Right now what we want is for Oris to come of age so that he has a little bit more hmm, agency, I suppose. It looks as though the Reach is probably going to change hands, but it's not going to be Alice Frey, so I kind of don't give a shit. <laughs> So, Muriel's only traits so far seem to be cruel and arbitrary, and also slightly okay fighter. Um, so this is going to be an interesting match for Oris um, in about six years' time or something like that. Oh, apparently Oris is huge. Awesome. It's quite impressive for a 12-year-old. Alkine Flowers is finally out of prison just in time to, oh, lose his territory. Yep. He is no longer Lord of the Reach. He's he's been uh, he's lost it to Lisano Meadows, and I'm pretty sure she's married to a swan, and her children are swans, <laughs> so to speak, um, and they'll inherit the Reach. Okay, well I guess I don't really care. Nothing much has changed, except for the fact that she has a claim on three other kingdoms. In which case I may have to <laughs> intervene at some stage. Although the Reach is far from being the most desirable of the Seven Kingdoms. So there seems to be some kind of unrest in the Vale, but I don't think it's going to end well for the uh, for the rebels there. In the meantime, I could really do with fixing that whole problem with, you know, Master Chunk of Dawn going to the Vale. That is a real kick to the teeth. It's really annoying that it takes forever for me to gain a single territory and then the Vale waltz in and take a huge high lordship. Um, right under my nose. Oh. I'm hearing of people dying of the bloody flux, and I'm pretty sure that is a new thing. Which I'm guessing is some kind of disease system in the update, which actually is kind of making sense to me. Uh, but fortunately, at least. Oris is alright. Okay, Emma Baratheon is our sister and has contracted the bloody flux. Now I'm slightly worried. Troop counts are replenishing though. Oh, cousin. Sorry. And she's in Sunspear and she's contracted it and we're in Sunspear. Oh no wait, hold out hold. Oh, no, we're fine. Good. So there's another war to retain the Westerlands that uh, Muriel's going to have to fight. But it looks like the majority of her troops are on her side, so I think we'll be just fine. So we'll give it a try, and hopefully it'll put us on the right side of the war, even though it makes it seem like it won't. Okay, yes, we are fighting against against those guys. Why is the Kingdom of the Iron Throne orange? Alright, yeah, diplomacy is probably the best view for this. So, yeah, they don't have that many troops to be honest, and she probably could handle it by herself, but it, it wouldn't hurt to improve relations. That's not a bad troop count just from Night Song. There we go, 10,000 troops. Easy peasy, no problem. That's... 6,000 Veiled troops that should be mine marching off to the Veil to help with that civil war that they'll probably be too late for. Uh, 
One children lack a guardian. Hmm. I'm slightly worried by the uh, increased mortality rate that this update seems to be offering. I'm slightly averse to giving Emma a uh, guardian while she has the bloody flux. Given that I don't know how it spreads in this. Could be from character to character for all I know. Yeah, still slightly peeved about the veil. They haven't done shit all game and then they come and pinch my territory. Of all the territories to pinch. I watched the cook scold Stannis and the spymaster tried to bribe him to give back his quill to no avail. I held the bluish precious quill in my right hand and a cookie in my left while playing with it and eating cookies I did not notice Stannis sneak up on me and snatch the quill from my hands. Cousin Stannis is, what, minus a hundred opinion? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I had a childhood fight with Cousin Stannis and now hate him forever. Maybe that's because you're just jealous of his name, Oris. Maybe.